Arkansas is second nationally in home runs with 47. The Ole Miss pitching staff is first in the nation in strikeout to walk ratio at 3.83. Well, something's got to give. Power meets heat as Ole Miss hosts Arkansas. Red and blue hurler Ryan Rollison has had success thus far this year, but the Arkansas offense had a storm brewing, putting the Diamond Rebs in a pinch early. And Arkansas has bases loaded with nobody out. Top of the first inning, three straight sharply hit balls off of Ryan Rollison. Here's the DH, Luke Bonfield. Bonfield lines it into left field. First pitch that he sees, and Arkansas leads 1-0. Four singles in a row to start the ball game. Well, I think that's you know the biggest concern on Friday night, uh, and it really was might be less of what Ryan did and more of what uh, Arkansas did and how good they are offensively. And uh, made a couple mistakes, but not big mistakes. But of course, they battle up there and are able to put two runs on the board, uh, and then kind of a wind dated home run uh, to, to start the second. So now we drop uh, behind uh, for nothing. Despite the hot start, the Hogs' bats were steadied when Mother Nature decided to bring a storm of her own to Oxford. Got dark skies all of a sudden over Swayze Field. Clouds rolling in from the west. Umpires are going to pull both teams, and we will have a delay. First order of business is to cover the mound at home plate and get the tarp on the field anticipate this being an extended rain delay, but we have got a break in the action nonetheless with Arkansas leading 4-0. We had a little spurt of rain there. Looks like it's lightening up a little bit. We're ready for some baseball. Five was not happy. We don't know if uh, much more is going to come, but we're prepared right now to you know, embrace for the worst. Well, it's pretty, uh, it looks like it's clearing up out here. Uh, all the bad stuff, as you can see, is that way. And it just came from so we're looking pretty uh, good over here. Yeah, I think the big deal was God just kind of wanted us to show off on national television how good we are at one. Uh, we've done it once before in the middle of a game, and we looked really good. So I think we just wanted to show off a little bit. Connor Green is nowhere to be found. Uh, some say he's the LVP of the tarp pole staff. I've seen him work hard, but just inconsistent. Uh, really good, really good. I was most valuable today. Least valuable, uh, It was really good. Thank you, Will's mom. Two years running, Houston Raw, least valuable player in the tarp pole. Congratulations. You know, after the rain delay, it probably helped us get centered a little bit and kind of take a deep breath after after what had gone on. And we give up two runs in the in the first, and I think two runs again in the second. And all of a sudden, you look up and you know, in a blink of an eye, we're down four to nothing. And I th think our guys did a really good job of rebounding and um, be able to to put up a crooked number off of a really good arm. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone by a mile, but it is a foul ball. Mike Bianco asking for a review. I always sit up the line, I had no idea. I mean, really? I think it crossed fair, but it looked foul because I hit it in the yeah. trees. Yeah. It went 450. I mean, so like, by the time it was past the pole. Right, no, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. And they uphold the call, understanding, as they said, not enough video evidence to overturn it, and therefore the call made on the field will stand. Visualization is a powerful tool. And although Dillard's homer was counted as a long strike, his teammate Cole Zabowski would finish the job that he started. Zabowski hits a fly ball to right field. No question as to whether or not this one is fair or foul. Ole Miss is on the board. For Cole Zabowski, he's now got seven hits in SEC play. Five of them are extra base hits. Three home runs and a couple of doubles. Yeah, that man can really hit. He's a... Uh... He's one of the purest hitters I've ever seen. Like, just, I mean, throw him a fastball away, pieces it to left field, and then you hang anything over the plate, and he hits it over the right field wall. So, 
Um, I mean, really cool what, what he can do at the plate. He's been a force in the middle of our lineup and even towards the bottom of the lineup sometimes. Um, and it, he, he's one of those guys that kind of makes it one through nine. We're not leaning on any one guy in particular, um, but we've got nine guys that kind of stretch out our lineup, and, and he's a really important piece to that. Zabowski would continue his success in the third, evening the score at four apiece. But in the end, the Razorbacks would pull away and take game one of the series. We all single here in the ninth. There's a runner at first with two down, and Jacob Adams behind in the count, one and two. Adams swings and misses. A three-inning save for Cronin. He strikes out five of the nine that he faces, and Arkansas takes game one of a big series this weekend in Oxford. No excuses. You know, we, we, if we look back at it, we could have played better, but we didn't. So my point being about them, uh, we didn't get beat up tonight. They just, some balls went their way, didn't go our way, and that's baseball. But you got to be man enough, and you have all year. We had this, this hasn't happened to us very often, but every time that it happens, you answer the bell. Which opportunity should be weather good all day tomorrow, not worrying about rain, tarp, anything else, a chance to even the series tomorrow night. I'm sure that's where the focus is at this point. No doubt. And we, we've been in this position, and, of course, it's disappointing to lose the, the first one. It had a great crowd here, you know, for a Thursday night. Uh, but, you know, tomorrow's swing day. We've got a good one on the mound for us. And Brady Feigl, we got to get after him tomorrow.